<laughs> Alright, so Half-Life Echoes again. It's a mod for original Half-Life. And it's not just a mod. It's... Bro. It's sick, is what it is. So if you haven't seen me play this yet, I'll just say that it feels like an official expansion. Um, and it took a dude five years to make this. The sound effects probably sound a little bit low at the moment, but as soon as I start firing guns, it's going to get awful. It's probably the only thing I haven't liked about this so far, is just how fucking loud the compression is on some of the, the guns. And that's like a minor nitpick if I've ever had a minor nitpick. Oh shit, metal, gear, solid. I don't know where this fucker is. Where, where is this fucker spawning? No, sir. Oh, finally. I'm waiting for this. Let's see if it sounds the same as it did in the HD collection. Nope, better. Okay, so... I don't really know how to describe the sounds, but in Half-Life Original, the sound of the MP5 was like... or the submachine gun was, was kinda not great. It was just very... what's the word I'm looking for? Not shrill. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't like it very much. And then the HD pack came along. <laughs> the HD pack came along. Oh, fuck. And changed it to this big hollow, like... Um... Really loud thing. Oh, good. Mr. Revolver? I, Mr. Revolver? Got it! That's right, Snake. My name is Mr. Revolver! And I know good guns! Mr. Revolver, what a terrible name. Well, I tried Ocelot for a while, but... My mom wouldn't let me use it. I've always wanted to be hardcore, but... Well... She thought Mr. Revolver was a lot more becoming of a nice boy like myself. Anyway, this gun is a pretty good gun. More than enough to damage anything that sits. Uh, what?
All right. Someone just said when you meow for backup, it's pretty lame, Ocelot. You know... <laughs> all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there all incognito. No one's gonna know it's me. Okay? When I'm in danger and I need backup, I'm gonna meow. Like a fierce feline. Uh, what? Shh, give me an example. Like that. Like a fierce kitty. The Let's just stick with Mr. Revolver, shall we? All right, fine. Have you ever thought of changing your name to, like, something like Solid Lynx? Or Bobcat? Snake, you should be Bobcat. A fierce kitten who roars and goes... Juicy Tabby? That's a good name. The fiercest of all the house cats, the Tabby! Well, Snake, welcome to my torture chamber. You know, I am well known for my torture techniques. Allow me to get the Feather Duster! Are you allergic to cats, Snake? Well, oh, I've got some feline dander ready for you. I'll stop now. That's about as far as I can take it. Well, now that n that nightmare is over. Well, you know, Snake and Captain Falcon are in the same game. And they will be in the same game again in the winter. Just saying, just saying. Well, Sonic, yeah. Well, Sonic would make a good mother, I think. Anyway, um, have we figured out who I am in this? I think I'm just like some some random Joe Schmo like worker. Maybe a security guard. I don't think I'm a Barney, but like if you you can see the, you know, I'm wearing like a nice shirt. Like a really nice shirt. Snake! Do you think men can become pregnant on the battlefield? I do. Okay. Let's see, the viewer numbers have gone down. So clearly I'm doing something right. What the fuck am I supposed to do here?
real nice. Vinny is progressive. Me doing a Captain Falcon voice about how a man can become pregnant is progressive. Oh boy. I don't think you think you know what that think you word means you think it mean, means. So I'm, I'm a hero. Thanks to Captain Falcon. Anyway. Progressive as in progressing towards dementia. Pepsi brand with the joke of the month. You win yourself a lifetime subscription to Fleshlight. Congratulations. It still says Metal Gear Solid on Twitch? Fuck. I knew I forgot to do something during the break. While listening to... Love is a battlefield. Okay. Well, it's it's all good now. Uh, okay, one more hit from one of these meat dumplings is gonna get me killed, so I have to be real careful. Look how... slimy they look. They don't usually look slimy. It's amazing how just changing the sound effect of a weapon makes me want to use the gun more. Kind of... kind of funny how that works. Um... Okay, just take it very slow. Just get in there, and get out- OH SH- I'm good. I'm good. Barney? Hey! Can you give me a hand? HEV Barney? Man, am I glad to see you. This door is locked. See if you can activate it from the console. I would really like a cold one right now. That's like a Freddie Mercury noise. Something's wrong with me tonight. So I have to get Barney out of here so I can get in there. Oh, that's nice. This is the most advanced form of security in the world. Cannot be faked. Cleverly done, but you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Holy shit. Adrian Brody? Gorg Gorgon. Oh shit, Combine? There's Half-Life 2 models in this.
get back where you belong and forget about all this until we meet again. It's like, it's such a good fucking cutscene. That was awesome. That was really fucking good, but then the G-Man's mouth moving just kind of made me laugh. Time to heal. Uh, but that was really good, though. The fucking... The, even the G-Man model looks great. It is Half-Life 2 G-Man model, um, but with the, the Half-Life 1 mouth moving. Were you gonna play the Hollow Knight DLC? It's out tomorrow. Probably not on the day of release, but... You know. Soon enough. I'll check it out. I might not do all the DLC, but I'll do at least one more stream of it. Takes a real long time to heal. Barnyard. I thought I had a long night. You look like hell. Yeah, let's go. What can you do for me, Barnyard? This dude's fucking... I smell an ambush. We'd better be careful. I was gonna call him tight, but I don't think that was the proper fucking adjective for that. HPV damage sustained. Armor compromised. My access code should open this and unlock any door around the central transit hub. Let's see if this works. Cool. This is nice. <laughs> I should have given a spook warning at the beginning of the stream, huh? I think they can be saved. Lifetime supply of jello here at Black Mesa. I presume you've got the all-clear codes? Yeah, I've got the clearance codes to the security station. Let's go. Excellent. I shall await your return. Word is, once we get to the surface, the military's made arrangements for us. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're here to save us. <laughs> This Barney has a revolver. They call me Revolver Saucer ba um Barnalot. This looks again just the the fucking ingenuity of what this dude was able to do in this engine. What? Uh, why? I'll just save ammo. I really don't have to do anything. I can just let Barney do all the work. That's good shooting. I'll get that door open. You do that. I'll see if there's any survivors. Do you know CPR? Ooh, I think it's 
it's the stench of the living. Get over here and give CPR to this dude right here. Roger that. Let's run like hell. If there's Maybe still a little bit of meat on the bone, they can be revived. We gotta get topside. <laughs> No. What are you doing to this thing? What is this green stuff? What is going on here? Ah, yes, we've discovered a new and impressive form of lubricant. Really? Well, we here at KY are extremely interested in your new lubricant that lasts forever. How do you get it? Well, we cannot share our secrets. We are scientists. Let me get that door for you. Gun. Gun magazine. It's probably a Barney in here. Yeah, it's a Barney booth. I'm gonna stay down here. If I see anything looks like it doesn't belong here, I'll start shooting. I... Hang on a second. Attention. Alarm warning in Atlanta Laboratory. One of the reasons I liked making maps in Half-Life, even though I never really finished one, was I liked making like spots that would be cool to hang out in. I know that's weird, but like that little guard booth was kind of cool. I think this guy can be revived. There's enough here. There's a leg, some ribs, there's uh, some face, spine, yeah. Definitely. Oh. Und how does that make you feel? I'm just gonna stand there staring at this console. Yeah. I'll stay here just just look that way instead. That's better. Half-Life wouldn't be Half-Life without vent... exploring. Do you remember... pillow forts? Remember the 90... remember... remember how hot they would get? I tried making pillow forts on a number of occasions. But, uh, they would just be, like, semi-suffocating, and I didn't have a fan that could be dragged in there. 
Nice idea in theory. In practice, it didn't really work out. And I didn't really have enough to make a fort. It's, like, really hard to make, like, have it stand up. It's not like what you see in the cartoons. Just shitty ones, I guess. Like, shitty ones with shitty pillows. Vinny, you're too old for pillow farts. Please act your age. <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? I've been waiting here for ages, hoping someone would come along. Oh. When all the fighting started, I hid myself here. I don't think any of I knew there was glass there. Survived. Yes. You I refuse to go another step. This motherfucker is going to be the safest of all the motherfuckers. Haven't you heard of safety in numbers? That way looks dangerous. I'm staying here. Until he starves? Yeah. Perhaps I could have a crowbar of my own? <laughs> Perhaps then an automatic rifle? My goodness! No, sorry to say I don't have any of these things to give you. Half-Life came out in 1998 as well, right? So, back-to-back -back Metal Gear Solid and Half-Life. Okay, this is a mod that came out, like, two weeks ago. But it's still using many, uh, assets that are... Man, am I glad to see let's say, you. familiar. Got an access violation at some of the gates near where you are. Better be careful. I think you got company. Someone help! No, not again! I guess he won't be the safest hey, motherfucker. Hey, Mr. Smiley. The hell is this piece of technology? Is this a fucking Stargate? Get me out of here. Teleport me out of here. Oh, shit. Solid snakes. Okay, this isn't really working out. Grenades have kind of weird physics in this game, where depending on your momentum is how far you can throw them. I always hated these fucking ninjas. I'm calling them ninjas, they're more like special forces. I kind of wish some of the opposing force weapons were in this. Have there ever been any, um, does anyone know if there have been any good mods for Opposing Force? Not mods necessarily, but like more, you know, maps and stuff. Like a full campaign. Hunt down the Freeman. 
No. <laughs> See, we got Blart. He's from Opposing Force, but his Desert Eagle isn't. Desert Eagle was my shit. It was my best weapon in Half-Life. Desert Eagle? Can't all be zingers. I was like, whoa, what's gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> that was just death. But it didn't tell me specifically. Security station. Nope. I, I gotta. Way. I gotta use the toilet. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, this one seems okay. It's just got a little radioactive jello and some scum. Uh, yo, yo. Glad scientist friend is still here. You know, live through all this craziness. You're just you're gonna keep him safe, right, Barney? I wish I could, but someone's gotta protect the dock. Oh, this fucker's dead. That's good. Uh. Leave it to Barney to break the fourth wall. That comment was about 30 seconds too late. Can we get a good suck out again? No. with Rob the Robot.
Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, this thing's kind of fun. It regenerates. It shoots bees. Space bees. Same thing. Oh. Oh, fuck. Secure area. No entry. And they home in on targets a bit. Hey, you know what? Maybe we could catch a movie later. Well, this may be your idea of fun. I uh, let me try my phone. <laughs> I've almost got it. Please don't explode. Oh, good. Interesting. Lead the way. I guess it okay. makes sense that a Barney would have an HEV suit. It feels like they're more equipped to, you know, have the HEV suits than the scientists. So the fact that Freeman... The fact that Gordon Freeman wore one... Well, if you think I can help... And it became iconic for him was almost like a fluke. I'm going to stay here and wait for my car. Yeah, I'll wait here. Let's get the hell out of here. The HEV suit was more for Zen expeditions. Oh. And, well, environmental hazards, too. Well, I guess Freeman, you know, the fact that he wore it, that was part of... Maybe not then. Maybe I was wrong about the Barney thing. You're right. Freeman had to wear the suit because he was dealing with um, hazardous materials. Well, anomalous materials. So he was the perfect dude for the job. Holy shit! Do three down! Do three down! Let's go. There we go. Oh, it's this spot again. I'm saved at last. Yep, we're all saved. Soldiers are here. They're led by a group called Foxhound. And what they're trying to do is take over the base so that they can launch a nuke. Stuck. I'll be right behind. This is as far as I go. Dude, why you get stuck? I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Vine sauce, you should play the room the video game. I have. Actually, on the full sauce channel, that that's like one of my top viewed videos, I think. Good. It's very good. I suppose I can help. Wait a minute, and I'll let you in. And that's why it's good to have Mr. Scientist Man. Fine. You won't even know I'm here. Um, then you can play Red Dead 2 when it comes out, yeah. Yeah, I'll be streaming that.
The Central Security Station is right I'm in the mood here. for some cowboy games. It's, it's been an, it's been a long enough time. It's right over here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, you asshole. I have to stay here to operate the security gate. Right. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> that was great. Wait, so, okay, I have to do something in here? I'm here. I'm gonna use my fucking big ass computer with giant futuristic monitor. I mean, this is 1998 after all. It's got the processing power of a modern day chicken nugget. Half Life takes place in 2000X. Wait, does it really? Does it take place in the near future? No, it takes place in 1998. I don't know. I, I don't know what the answer is. What if it takes place in 2005, like Metal Gear Solid? That would be a really, really weird coincidence. It says... 200X during the tram ride. Okay, I didn't remember that. And Laidlaw also said it takes place in that at that time. is this liquid? This wretched, grotesque liquid. Oh no, it's brown. Oh, it's exactly what you think it is. You're gonna get pink eye? Oh, it's not gonna be pink eye, it's gonna be pink body. It's gonna be pink guy when I'm done swimming through here. Full-blown conjunctivitis. The other complaint I have about this is the flashlight. I don't know if it's possible to mod Half-Life so that the flashlight doesn't suck. I think it, it is, right? I mean, it's probably something that you could do. But it's just a complaint about Half-Life 1 in general. Target practice, huh? Cry of Fear did, and some people got VAC banned for that? Cry of Fear, I streamed that, didn't I? <laughs> Try to block out the memory. Oh my. For a second, I thought you were one of them. We thought you'd never make it. Thank God you're here. 
Look, I need both of you here before I open this door. We haven't got much time. Did you hear something? What the hell? Oh, oh no! Please! <laughs> Freeman is down. Over. It's not Freeman. Oh shit, target Freeman is native over. Bastards. We've got something. Alien, heavy. <laughs> this is natural speech. Oh shit, Sephiroth. Ba 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 ba. Fucking awesome sequence. Secret area, maybe? It's a secret area, but there's fucking nothing here. That's probably where I would hide. If I had to wait for this whole thing to blow over, and definitely not get nuked, perhaps I would hide up here. You know, and try to- well, this is- there's really no space up here. There's probably, like, ass-smelling smell. Um, I don't even know what this is. Is this the inside of a dumpster? Oh, it's tri- Of course I would live there. It's a fucking dumpster! Isn't this the, uh, special forces from Opposing Force? That dude? Yeah, the dude assassins are the ones from Opposing Force. They needed, like, a, a military grunt... ...that you would fight as a military grunt, so they chose... The special forces. The black ops. I don't like that. I really don't like that. That was, uh, that was good.
Is this a full conversion or maps? Um, it's not a full conversion. I mean, it uses a lot of the default assets and the HD assets from Blue Shift. And it updates some of them. But it's its own story set in Black Mesa during the events, just from a parallel perspective. But it's, it's very faithful to the feel of Half-Life. I would recommend this to pretty much anyone. Even people that don't know Half-Life, this is- I think this is pretty badass. So it's not just carried by its nostalgia... ...factor. I think that there's- there's a lot that this has to offer. Okay, this is epic! I- I can't, like, not hear Thanos saying that. Even though I know Thanos never said that. In my mind, Thanos is the only one that ever said that. Oh yeah, and in my imagination, he's also doing the dance from Fortnite and saying it at the same time. Is that like a super garg? These things. I wish we saw more of them in Half-Life. It's like the alien fighter jets, but they're just giant weird life forms. I like that we were over a bridge like that, or that specific bridge. A couple times, and each time the story unfolded differently. Like you got a, another little piece of the story. I feel so lonely without Barney, HEV Barney, and Scientist Man. Time you pass through this area, I mean, this is the same area a couple times, but every time you pass through, it gets a little bit more scummy. Like the purple has spread, there's more chaos. The alien uh, threat has spread, but then the marines are just making a huge mess out of everything. Also, rip that marine in particular that got carried up by the barnacle.
What? Where? Where? Bit of a squan dog there. I keep forgetting that I have this weapon. Which not only saves ammo, but it's fun and educational. Eat your father, son. Ever tell you guys about eat your father, son? Someone just said, I was just thinking about that today. Why? I don't really know how to tell the story. I don't know if I'll get it right. But it's just a, it's it's a weird thing that popped up in my head from high school. It was like an inside joke I had with a couple people, but specifically one dude. And it was like I guess the joke was that like the worst thing you could do was grind like it was a Scott Tennerman thing. Like the worst thing you could do was grind somebody's father up and make them eat it. <laughs> I don't know. And then it was like turned into well eat your father, son. Like, that's just- it was like a fucking meme that people were saying in the halls, and it was a it was probably my fault, actually, now that I think about it. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm even telling you this, really, and I don't know if the story goes anywhere else. But it was like really nonchalant, you know, the, the, the idea of it was like, well, you know, just eat your father, son. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with kids? What, what is wrong with me? That was around the time that Dr. Evil's meat helmet speech was really popular, so I think that's what... It was like that kind of sense of humor.
fuck? I hear turret, I do not see turret. Good, you got me. Good. That did a lot of damage to me. That's a lot of damage. Did not know that turrets shot at the individual bugs. After all these years, you still learn something new about Half Life. Now these guys are just dead. Meat on the bone? Revivable. These poor sorry sons of bitches? Gone. Scientist? What the hell are you doing? Dude, what? Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! Oh, ho, 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 snarks! This is a really creative use of snark. They're like little homing grenades, they suck. I feel like we could use some extra fire right about now in this whole place. They may sound cute, but don't let that fool you. Jesus! Missing shots, point blank.
Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there they are. These little fella fellers. Go! Go, little fellers! Kill! Not me! Why are my own snarks trying to kill me? This is this is nothing new for snarks. Excuse me, did I just take a fuckload of damage for no reason? <laughs> what was that? I think I sprained my ankle. was a lot harder than it should have been. Alright, so how are you doing, chat? Everyone doing well? Everyone hanging in there? Still good? Gotta use the bathroom? Want some dessert? Someone said get the armor, but I don't see any armor. Just sucks that it's so dark in a game that has such a terrible flashlight. Also, is anyone noticing, like, micro stutters? Every now and then? Kinda reminds me of fucking Dead Cells. It's, it's getting a little weird. This wasn't happening last time I played this. And I just suffered a Windows update, so I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Use HEV? Oh, you can't. I don't have an HEV suit. I'm a Barno. S or someone. I I'm wearing, like, a button down. I, I can't plug that into the HEV charger. scientists, their sleeves are white. But, I mean, here, look. It's gray. See, I'm not wearing a lab coat. I don't know who the fuck I am. 
But Barney's wear blue. I'm Neil Breen. Saved by the turret. I just have one question for the chat right now, though. One very important question. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? A number of people who have just, uh, just mentioned that they're going to bed, or that the stream is over forever, or that they're never coming back. So I guess I am not turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Something I was gonna say before the turtley thing, and now it's gone. I ruined it. And now I'm pissed. Because I should know what it was. And it was good. I deserve this. That's what I get. That's what I get for invoking Turtle Club. Oh, oh, I know what I was gonna say. I think I'm a dude from, like, accounting, like someone in chat said. If you think about it, you don't really see that side of Black Mesa. When you go through this game, well, Half-Life, you... see scientists, you see Barneys, you don't see the businessmen. Bias from HR. There you go. Health inspector. This play this play is gonna get an A. For A Li uh Vin, why would you do that though? Well, I, don't, I officially don't know what the fuck to do. Boxes next to the door. Oh! God damn it. It's always the boxes. bad. Also, that micro stutter is still happening. It's 
weird. Why are you screaming in my ear? Where are you? This is... Half-Life didn't really do turrets all that well. Well, don't shoot me! can't really see where you're aiming, and it's like a little slow and kind of weird. They fixed this by Half-Life 2, though. He was like hiding in the bathroom. Saw an alien pieced out. That's me. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Loot. Zing. <laughs> Losing my copyright. Losing my monetization. That's me in the corner, that's me in the spotlight, losing my YouTube... channel. It would be funny if it wasn't true. I like the idea that someone could start a channel, and just show their videos to their friends, but if you put a Beatles song in there... You could- that could get blocked in, like, all countries. You know, like a graduation video for you and, like, you know... ...your family, and you just- you just put that on YouTube so you can have it. And it just gets, like, removed and copyrighted by Ringo. And, like, you know, they- they start throwing ads on it. For, like, pocket pussies. We refuse... ...here at EMI Records... ...or whatever. We refuse to have our music... With content, paired with content, we don't approve of. We have no control over. Anyway, here's this pocket pussy. Secure area. No entry. Okay, it's a little bit of an extreme example, but, you know. They do throw ads on... Like, if you, um, if you play certain bands, the- the label will claim that. And then they'll put their own ads on it, or they'll just have whatever ads are on, but they'll take the money from it. They have no problem taking the money, it's not about, like, representing the artist incorrectly. The music industry has never really been about the artists, it's- it's more been about... Security, watch out. No, Them cash. They claim private videos too? Oh yeah. So... I've, um... You know, I, I stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but I make the YouTube stream private. And the reason I do that is to have a backup. Because it saves to YouTube. And that stays private. So that way, if the VOD gets muted, Vappy can pull from the YouTube stream 
and um, and it won't be muted. You know, so it's a good way to have that. And it's also in, in the future if there's like an issue where like something gets deleted, I know I have a backup. Now, the problem is, and I'm a little bit worried about this. The problem is that I play a song. So on the full stream, which is like four hours to four and a half hours, there's a song in there from the BRB. And a lot of my private videos that are seen by no one that are live for like a second are getting claimed. I'm wondering if at some point one of those companies is going to be real shitty and strike a private video. Could happen. I do locally record, but uploading it and then sending it to Vappy is like a process that I don't need to do if I just cut out the middleman. And this is a relatively new feature, so I haven't had to deal with this before. Fucking god damn it with my own snarks again. Big Gugan. Holy shit! Why don't you record... Why don't you save your recordings to a server that Vappy can pull from? I wouldn't know how to do that. That's, that's like... Oh, God. Ah, oh, God damn it! You know, and then, like, I guess recording and streaming at the same time to a local server, that could possibly add more lag and delay. I, listen, it sounds like it would be a, a nice idea. If there's a way to do it and pay for the server, like, then I have to pay for, like, server space. It seems like a bit of a hassle for a lazy asshole like me that has a solution. And also, I use YouTube for the notifications. I'm, I think I'm willing to take my chances for now, and if it turns into a problem, then I'm gonna try to figure something else out. You can host your own server with drives with the right router. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking to someone who whose IQ is like three. You would need to build server to do it, that would cost money. Yeah, exactly. Nice idea, though. I mean, I'm not totally discounting it for the future. It's a cool idea, good to know. I'm just playing devil's advocate. And I feel like maybe it could work if, um, given the proper circumstances and technical know-how, but I don't have that. Holy shit. You know that cut? on the side of my mouth that I told you about. Maybe like three of you will will remember this. Still there. No, it's from I bit I was chewing gum and I bit into the like the side of my cheek, like right by my my top lip. And uh 
it just it's not healing it's really great I think the streaming is making it not heal or, well talking more specifically is making it not heal it's like a crater Good. <laughs> Tough motherfucker. Oh, good. Good save. Two HP save. balls no I haven't done that I'm gonna do the salt water thing though I've been um, I usually have um, salt water if I have like a mouth ulcer which happens not too frequently usually when I'm a little stressed out so maybe that's like an urban legend maybe I'm finding a false connection but yeah so uh, salt water it does work for that kind of thing, but I didn't consider doing it for a cut, for some reason. Yeah, back in the day where you would download, like, random maps and Half-Life mods. Everyone got a kick out of making the Vox announcer and the military dudes just say disgusting and random things. And the military dudes have a voice line where they say ass. So everything was ass.
Ah, oh, fuck off. I kind of wish I didn't waste all my snarks. Well, they didn't exactly go to waste, but, you know, if I had a couple more, the sequence would be a little, little bit easier, I think. That was some good, friendly fire. <laughs> Fire in the hole. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is hard. Hello, Winnie. Do you want to play Counter-Strike or Mario Kart? Seventeen HP. Yes, I did it. Seven HP left. Oh, God, no more. No, no more. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. I think I got him in the dick. Leaving this shit down here. Ah!
Nope. Nope. I'll just let them... I'll just let them fight. This is Marine Ordnance? Fucking Ghostbusters gun? Gotcha, bitch. I think the Ghostbusters gun has been upgraded. Yeah, I'm not usually crazy about the military stuff in this game as opposed to like the cool science-y shit. But that was that was great. Well now what the fuck am I gonna do? God, what even? Do I really just have to kill all the aliens? Middle hatch is open. Well, there's some health up here. With it's really fucking good. Enter the garg hole. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I, I know what you mean now. Doors closed. Can't enter Garg Hole. Oh, it's a pre-scripted event. I guess all events are pre-scripted. So the word scripted means. That's the material that Gordon Freeman pushes into the machine at the beginning of the game. For anyone who didn't know. What a nice looking fella. Very good. We'll take it from here. Prepare. 
for unforeseen consequences. Uh, Alex. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. You are. Well, well. Isn't this just like old times? We've been rather busy in your absence, Mr. Freeman. Oh. That will be all. Gordon. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? We were living in base housing, you know. Oh, boy. That ending is based on the official episode 3 leak? Wait, so is this the actual- is this the end of the game? Like... I thought there was another, like, hour or two of this. This is the end, it's pretty much done. So, how much more? Before I, you know, continue playing. Like two minutes? Oh, okay, that's fine then. Uh, this looks really... Only guess what might have happened to my wife. We meet again. So nice to have you with us. Oh, not for long. Oh no. <laughs> Come back. Come back here now. Cool toys. Cut content toys. Get back here. Run. What have you done? <sighs> oh no, not this time. Pay attention. I'm only going to say this once. Prepare for unforeseen <laughs> consequences. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. But, you know, that's kind of what you have to deal with when you don't have any new voice clips and you have to just reuse the old ones. Something about unforeseen consequences. Kingpin tried to save Alex from G-Man, and G-Man killed Kingpin, Kingpin, who is kind of your friendly Nihilinth. Candidate 12 demonstrated keen ability, but was susceptible to external influence. Candidate 7, is that Adrian Brody? <laughs> no, is 3 is Adrian. <laughs> I don't know who they are. One's Gordon, one's Barney, one's Shepard. Well, that was uh, amazing. Apparently there's a secret ending. Someone mentioned it. Uh, if you could get me the YouTube link to that, I'll check it out. man by the name of Cockburn made this. One was Alex, three is Gordon, seven is Shepard. Adrian Shepard. Cool, well, or seven is Shepard, one is Barbie, three is Fr Okay, well, 
whatever's going on there, I don't care. The game was awesome. This was a very good four hours. I thought it was going to be, um, about six hours, so I was expecting one more stream of this, but this is fine, too. What can I say? Um... I can't believe that there's a Half-Life 1 mod of this quality that still just came out recently. Uh, it's amazing. And it makes me want more Half-Life, because this was the most Half-Life playing thing that I've experienced in a while, so I just kind of want more now. Yeah, Kevin McLeod. He's in everything. I've used Kevin McLeod's music. Cool. All right, well, that was cool. Let's take a look at the secret ending, maybe. And then the art, and then uh, I'll get going. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find this right away. Is this cutscene? It's just this video is called Secret Scary Cutscene. That's at the beginning if you stick around for five minutes. <laughs> okay. Good. As for an actual secret ending, I I don't know if well you I'll be able to find that right now. I can't find it. Yeah, maybe not something I'm gonna worry about. But it was good. And the ending I got, whatever was going on there was cool. So, no worries. Let's take a look at the art, and I'll start thinking about what I'm going to stream next. Over the next couple days, probably get a No Man's Sky stream in. Um, again, I'm getting a little bored of it, so don't expect too much more. Not until, like, a big, like, major patch. But I also would like to finish up WarioWare Gold, do, like, one more big stream of that. And uh, we'll take it from there, on top of whatever other big games I, I end up streaming. 